guys. What we're gonna do here today is make a, what is basically my favorite wolf set from when I uh, lived in Ontario. Now, this is the first time I found a place here on my trap line where I could uh, make the set because it requires open water for for the whole year. And I'll show you here what I'm doing. It's called an open water scent post set. See here we got below a beaver dam. You need a firm bottom and water that will stay open all year long. And when I was coming by here last year a few times, I, I noticed that even in the coldest weather, it would uh, it would stay open. And of course, the third thing you need is have it in an area where wolves are traveling back and forth. So this here spot, last time I was here, there was wolf tracks on the ice right there. So this kind of fits the bill totally. And what we're using here is either three or four or however many traps you want, but the, the big foot trap. And remember, here in Manitoba, any foot traps made not in a drowning set have to be checked every 72 hours, minimum. So, just because this is in the water, doesn't classify it as a drowning set. I don't think I'm gonna drown any wolves in there. All right. Um, this here, is in Ontario I used to use moose hide on a stake. This here is deer hide, a piece I saved from the fall. Now this stake gets hammered into the bottom of the creek and where it's wired you want to try and make it get it deep enough so that the the wire that's holding the skin onto the stake is under the water. Now I'll give that a whirl. I'm gonna get my axe to hammer it in there. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you the set when, when I'm done. Alrighty. Hey guys, here we got this set finished up. Um, see, I came down on the side where it's got the steepest bank. Now just to, you know, to get your odds a little more, I'll put the set closer to the bank that has a shallow entrance like this here. Now, out about four feet from the from the edge of the water, I have the scent post hammered in with the deer hide on there. I couldn't quite get it deep enough because of all the rocks with the because with to get the wire under there, but that's um, ah, that's not going to be a huge issue. Although I prefer to have it under the water. But here's I've got every bit of steel is underwater here. Got three traps. Now these are the white ones that I had painted white, the MB750s. I would prefer to have the dark traps in here, but they're all set already. So this is gonna have to do here. And I've just got them set in good solid bases via where they're not gonna tip on a rock and in between, you know, a minimum of two feet from the, the scent post so that the wolves can't get their nose right on that scent post set before um, they reach the traps and you want to you know remember like 18 to 24 inches is is good so i'll uh i've got the the drags anchored out now these things when they get caught they should head straight into the bush here as everybody well most people that trap wolves know they they head into the thick bush pretty much right away when they get caught in a foot trap so Anyways, that's, uh, like I said, I mean, they stand out quite bad, but when you've got all this snow around, rocks like that with the snow on them, a little bit of white is not going to bother them too much when they can't smell anything. And besides, their heads are down here, so it's not quite as obvious. It's still pretty, you know, obvious to us because we know what they are. But... I had a, a spot in Ontario that I set like this 
every year and, and it produced quite a few wolves for me. And like I said, now all I got to do is when I drive by, I don't even have to get off and make any footprints on the in the snow to, to give it away. I can see them plain as day from here. And we'll, uh, we'll get on our way. You can see. Alrighty. And like I said, that's one of my favorite wolf sets that I used to use when I was back in Ontario where I had obviously more wolves, more area, and more spots to, to do it.